But our next guests are two Corrie queens who are no strangers to dealing with drama on the cobbles. But in real life, the two friends have been juggling their day jobs with navigating the menopause, something that hasn't been an easy journey for them. So supporting Loose Women's Menopause Manifesto, please welcome Sally Dinavore and Sue Devaney. <laughs> Both of you here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice to do it together, isn't it? Yeah, it's so, lovely. Yeah. lovely. Talking all things menopause. Well, absolutely. <laughs> now, there's, there's been a bit of chat regarding a whole other WhatsApp group, uh, but I'm going to talk about your WhatsApp group because um, in within the Corrie confines, you guys have developed a WhatsApp group amongst you ladies to support each other with the menopause, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. well, we, we want to set up, um, eventually, uh, menopausal month don't we so we've we've got a meeting every month to just chat about what we're going through and yeah. how sometimes it's hard to work and struggle with the menopause because mm. so. it was quite difficult for you wasn't it i had a shocking time i had a really shocking time yeah in fact you know the list of everything that you get oh, when yeah. you're going through the menopause i had them all <laughs> <laughs> i don't do things by halves yeah. but um but yeah it was it but was did you know it was through the menopause mm. or no, did you just i i, I thought I've always had low levels of anxiety and I've always managed it through exercise or whatever, but I, I felt that I had no idea what it was. And because I had a washing machine brain, I was going round and round the same thoughts over and over. And so I, was, I wasn't well, but I didn't know how to treat it really. Mm. And what I understand now is perimenopause is totally different from menopause. Mm. Like perimenopause with me, I totally, lost my mind. I really did. Uh, I found it again now, and with the menopause, I've lost my body. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it's but, gone. But, but Sue, how, how, oh, sorry, sorry. How, bad, how bad did it get? Really bad, um, to the point where I couldn't work. I was saying to Sal, it was... Um, I think in, in our profession as well, it's all, all about, you know, you've got to show up and, and be on it. Yeah. And, um, and I couldn't... I was so underconfident. I couldn't look in the mirror. I couldn't go out. Um, I, I was talking myself out of jobs. I was pulling out of jobs because I just couldn't do it. And, um, and I went to three different doctors and uh, psychiatrists who all gave me drugs. I hadn't slept for about five weeks. Yeah. So, um, you know, that sound, sends mm. you absolutely do, Lally. And... I was sat at my kitchen table with all these drugs that I'd been prescribed from doctors that were anti-anxiety, sleeping medication, and I just thought, what on earth am I going to do? And my friend rang and, uh, and I said, I, I don't think I can carry on like this because I was at the, at the end of the tether because I just didn't know who to turn to, where to go. And that's when I started um, getting the right treatment and... Mm -hmm saying, right, enough's enough, I need time off work and I need to work through this. So mm -hmm. I did all my own research, I went to the doctors, they didn't know what to prescribe me and, and each doctor didn't say, what's your age, do you think it is the menopause? All right. Mm -hmm. So Good I have to do all that myself and, mm -hmm. and it was like, you know, I'm talking like nine years ago now, so it was, it was before all this big hype mm. about the menopause had come out, mm. so... I think that's as well, because I think, it's, you know, what you mainly hear about is, oh, you just get some... You get the hot sweats and that's kind of it. And I think by having people like you guys who are talking about it now, and for someone like me, being on a show like Loose Women, where people are talking about the menopause now, I feel like I'll kind of know what to look out for. Yeah. But I guess nine years ago, no one was really saying the other symptoms, like what you were experiencing. No one really spoke about that, did they? Well, they no. didn't really talk about the fact your brain goes a bit doolally. <laughs> How was it for you, Sally? Well, I mean, my, I've got a completely different experience because yeah. I went through breast cancer at 46. <clears throat> yeah. So um, I can't take HRT. Mm. But um, I, we both see um, a doctor called Anise Mukherjee and she's helped us so much, mm. the hormone doc. 
And for me, it's lifestyle. I have to, you know, I exercise every day, I eat well. I have to do it through lifestyle. I can't do it through HRT. Yeah. Um, so it's we're, we're on completely different journeys, yeah. but it works really well for and me. I, I want to like, explore this idea that of talking about it mm. at work, because we all know that on a t in a television studio, it's not a place, you know, and, and filming dramas to suddenly switch to having a chat about the menopause in what can be like <laughs> a very male-dominated environment. How, how did that come we about? We do now, don't we? Well, we, we, we take over now. We do, actually. <laughs> yeah, I want to know on the cobbles. Well, it was the same, weren't we? It was lovely. There was one afternoon when we, there's, we've got a long table in the green room and we all sit round and make a cup of tea and everything and have a chat. And we, we looked round and we were all similar ages and it was such a freeing feeling, like, yeah. we suddenly, if somebody opened up, I mean, actors, you know, they wear yeah. the heart on the sleeve, we yeah. tell each other everything. <laughs> <don't> we? <laughs> so we just started yeah. talking about the menopause and what are you going through and what, and everybody had a different experience. Yeah. And I mm. think that's a really important thing to say is that, you know, one size doesn't fit all. No. Some people can't, don't get on with HRT, it doesn't agree with them, it, you know, but others, yeah. It, yeah. it really does. And, the, so. you know, the first port of call, I think, is to at least go to the doctor, have a chat to see what your options are and to be able to work out what's going to work for you but in the same way that we all talk so much more about it and I hope that that the ladies in the audience also talk to your friends and family about it a bit more it is it is important especially in a work environment that we are honest yeah. because we are all going through very similar things we shouldn't have to hide that right no I, I think I think as well when you're working you you're frightened that there's something going on and you can't kind of, you think, oh, I'm, I'm not good at my job anymore because I can't remember the lines or I can't... I think I'm, you know, a little bit insecure and I can't show that at work. Mm. Well, actually, you can. Mm. Yeah. You know, we, we do now, don't we, Sam? Yeah, it's like, right, I'm, I'm having a bit of a moment. Can you just step right yeah, and then back? <laughs> yeah, well, I really oh, go back to it. I'm on one of them days today, yeah. so... <laughs> watch out, watch yeah. Out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's our favourite subject. Yeah. 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 What I want to know is what the men who work with you, when this, all, when this kind of awakening happened and you all felt you could talk about they it... They all leave the green room. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I They're wanted like, to know. See you later. <laughs> They're all clued up on it, aren't they? Yeah. Like, oh, are you having one of them days? Yes, that's right. Just, <laughs> just very quickly, I have to, I have to ask you very quickly about the new. You've got a new shopping precinct or something happening in Corrie, haven't you? A new? Yes. Yeah. 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 Which is really exciting because it's like a new footprint. It means they've invested in the street. Yeah. So you know, the next few years. I mean, we've probably been shopping there for years and years, mm. but we've just yeah. never seen it. Well, you so. probably need some new shopkeepers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we were thinking cake shop, right? Well, there's one called Sweet Enough, isn't there? Yeah, that'll yeah. do me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. She's Sweet always cake. trying to find a way to get on. Always, <laughs> always. Well, look, Sue and Sally, thank you so much for coming in thank and sharing your, oh. your story. I'm sure it'll impact so many people that are watching. So thank you. Thank, thank you for that. Yeah. lots of help and advice on the menopause and on anything else we've covered on the show today at icefew.com slash helpline.